still stuck in the stone age trying to make custom curve brushes in ZBrush. Let me show you how to level up with custom curve brushes. Curve brushes in ZBrush let you drag things like ropes, chains or stitches in one quick stroke. Way faster than placing them by hand. First, make the shape you want to extrude along the curve. Make sure it's facing the same way as mine and that you're in the front view. It's also important that the faces on either side are deleted. This is so as it extrudes along the curve, the vertices can weld so that it makes up one continuous shape. Next, go to the brush palette and select Create Insert Mesh. This will create a new brush with the mesh attached to it. Go to the Stroke menu, select Curve and turn on Curve Mode. You also want to turn on Snap. Next, go to the brush settings, turn on Weld and Stretch. At first glance, your curve will be embedded within the mesh. You need to make sure your curve brush is set to dots and not dragged rect. It still looks like it's slightly embedded. You can go to brush and increase the depth. Clicking on the curve will update it. Our mesh is now snapping to the surface, but it's not coming out smooth and the welding is horrendous. But don't worry, I've got you. All we need to do is increase the curve resolution a little bit. Click back on the curve and like magic, it's fixed. You can actually do this with any of the brush settings and it'll update. We're almost done making our custom curve brush, but the end caps are missing. To fix this, we'll use a setting called Triparts. Before that, we need to change the original subtool. It should have three polygroups. The first polygroup will be placed at the start of the curve, the middle polygroup will repeat along the curve, and the last polygroup will go at the end. Make sure the first and last parts have closed ends, but the middle one should stay open. In this situation, I just duplicated my shape three times and gave each one its own polygroup. It must be also one mesh. Now remake the insert mesh brush and turn on curve mode, try parts, weld points and stretch. Don't forget to bump up the curve resolution a little bit and select dots instead of drag rect. That's it. You've got a working custom IMM curve brush. One final thing to be aware of is that if you have a single sided mesh, the curve brush won't function correctly. So you must make sure that the original subtool has some depth to it. One final problem that I've noticed while filming this is that if your curve still isn't snapping to the surface, it's likely because the subtool has old history saved. You'll see a red icon at the top of the timeline. That's the issue. Just control and click it to clear it. Once you're back at the end of the history, the curve should snap correctly. And that's it. You've leveled up. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe so I can keep growing and sharing more tips with you. Now go create something awesome and I'll see you next time.